when people talk about the origins of the American Revolution, I think there are a lot of different causes. Some people point to the Stamp Act in 1765. And what you have in this moment is uh, imperial administrators trying to make sense of this newly enlarged British Empire. After the Seven Years' War, also known as the French and Indian War, British administrators realized that they had to have this empire be more efficient, more effective, and put greater controls on colonists and on uh, other uh, colonies themselves. Um, and so one of the things that they did was the Stamp Act, but they also looked west uh, to the frontiers and they wanted to adopt new policies that were meant to both integrate this new territory, but also put uh, controls and regulations on it. And so in October, I believe of 1763, the king uh, made a pronouncement and it's called the Proclamation of 1763. And what the proclamation does is it draws a line along the, the uh, Appalachian Mountains and it says colonists should not settle any further west from here. And their thinking is, is that this British Empire is a mercantile empire, it's oceanic, and it's also deeply in debt. Uh, the British Empire took on an enormous amount of debt during the Seven Years' War. And the idea that the colonists are going to spread further west, they thought was going to undermine their larger strategy of a integrated, uh, ocean-going, trading empire. That colonists would move further and further away from the colonial seaports and become less and less dependent on Great Britain. And they also worried that colonists spreading west would only uh, create greater violence and contestation with Native American groups leading to wars, wars that the British Empire felt like they couldn't fight. And so what the proclamation did first was draw a line along the Appalachian Mountains. The other thing that it declares that Native Americans should receive the protections that any subject receives. That is, you know, if, if there's a violent act of colonists against a Native American, that should be deemed illegal. And I think this was really important for the king to try and make uh, sense, a pronouncement, a, a statement on what North America, how North America should function. Colonists reacted, uh, especially those that were living closest to this line, in ways that are very similar to the way colonists in the seaports reacted to the Stamp Act or uh, the towns and duties even later than that. Colonists on the frontier said, we just fought a war for control of North America. And we thought the result was that we were going to be able to acquire new territory for us to expand, uh, to own our own farms and land. And it seemed like this line on the Appalachian Mountains was hemming them in, uh, was not allowing them to realize their vision uh, for the future. And so colonists uh, ignored the line, um, you know, disregarded it, and it helped lead to the kind of an undermining of authority um, on the frontiers. The Western lands are always in doubt. There are all these competing claims. There are all these groups that are trying to get their territories recognized by British administrators. And so the proclamation line is one of those things that raises this question, well, what about all of the land that uh, we, were we were received for, as compensation after the Seven Years' War? Are we going to be able to realize this or not? I think Washington saw the line as a temporary line, and I think many people assumed that they'd be able to recognize their claims in the future. And in fact, I think the British Empire, they drew a line in 1763, and they drew it for a purpose at that moment. But I've often thought that one of the reasons they drew a line was so that they could better negotiate future land purchases. I don't think the British Empire or those in London had a truly uh, benevolent view on, on the future of the West. I think they had a very strategic decision in 1763 as they looked at their balance, uh, uh, you know, and realized that they were deeply in debt, could not afford to sustain an expanding empire. But drawing a line actually established a clear legal boundary that they could then negotiate from for future land purchases. Click the subscribe button below and the bell icon to get notifications for new videos about George Washington and behind the scenes work at Mount Vernon.